and they're gaining a new political consciousness, becoming politically mature. And as they become, uh, develop this political maturity, they're able to see the recent trends in these uh, political elections. They see that whites are so evenly divided that every time they vote, uh, the race is so close, they have to go back and count the votes all over again. And then, which means that any block, any minority that has a block of votes that stick together is in a strategic position. Either way you go, that's who gets it. You're, you're in a position to determine who go to the White House and who stay in the doghouse. You're the one who has that power. You can keep Johnson in Washington, D.C., or you can send him back to his Texas cotton patch. sent Kennedy to Washington. You're the one who put the present Democratic administration in Washington, D.C. The whites were evenly divided. It was the fact that you threw 80% of your votes behind the Democrats that put the Democrats in the White House. When you see this, you can see that the Negro vote is the key factor. And despite the fact that you are in a position to, the, to be the determining factor, what do you get out of it? The Democrats have been in Washington, D.C. only because of the Negro vote. They've been down there four years. And they're all other legislation they wanted to bring up, they brought it up and gotten it out of the way, and now they bring up you. And now they bring up you. You put them first, and they put you last. Because you're a chum. that controls two-thirds of the government and that party can't keep the promise that it made to you during election time and you are dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify yourself with that party, you are not only a chump but you're a traitor to your race. <laughs> and what kind of alibi do they come up with? They try and pass the buck to the Dixiecrats. Now, back during the days when you were blind, deaf, and dumb, ignorant, politically immature, naturally you went along with that. But today, as your eyes come open and you develop political maturity, you're able to see and think for yourself. And you can see that a Dixiecrat is nothing but a Democrat in disguise.